Good evening, I'm Byron Scott with a CTV News update. Well, our top story tonight is the weather. In addition to the heat, the high heat and humidity, torrential rain is possible. Flooding is likely. Katera Jones has more on what we can expect. Grab your umbrellas and rain jackets because a flood watch has gone into effect. The National Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch until 8 p.m. Drivers should anticipate flooding throughout parts of Maryland, including Prince George's. Officials say the large amount of rain could possibly lead to flooding of creeks, streams, and low-lying roads. Meteorologists also expect hail and winds around 40 miles per hour. Areas in the county that could be impacted by today's watch include Bowie, Clinton, Fort Washington, Largo, and Fordsville. Now, if you encountered flooded roads, remember, turn around, don't drown. Katera Jones, CTV News. Thank you, Katera. Well, the U.S. economy added 209,000 jobs last month. It's the smallest pickup in jobs since December of 2020. Still, economists say it signals that the labor market, while slow, is still strong. Construction showed strong gains, as did health care. The Bureau of Labor Statistics says unemployment nationwide fell slightly to 3.6 percent, but among black Americans, it rose to 6 percent. Here in Prince George's County, the unemployment rate is 2.3 percent. Employee Prince George's offers resources for those looking for work. Well, we have uh, two America's Job Centers, one located here in Lago. We also have one in National Harbor, and we also have a youth career center in, in uh, Suitland, Maryland as well, where persons can access a complete array of services, such as um, receiving occupational skills training, uh, various job readiness workshops, and the like. And also they can connect to employment opportunities with area employers. For more information, go to employpg.org. Well, three men are facing charges after an attempted carjacking last night. Little did they know their would-be victim was a Prince George's police officer. The incident took place on the 3200 block of Curtis Drive in Temple Hills. Investigators say a plainclothes detective was on patrol when three men tried to take his vehicle, but instead he turned the tables on them, and the men were taken into custody. Charges, police say, are pending. Well, a person has been arrested in connection with that deadly mass shooting in Baltimore on Sunday that left 28 people injured and two dead. The suspect is a 17-year-old male. He was arrested this morning following a search of his home. Investigators say he was involved in that shooting that killed 18-year-old Aliyah Gonzalez and 20-year-old Kylas Fagbemi. Charges include firearm possession, reckless endangerment, and having a handgun in the vehicle. Few of the 28 who were injured remain hospitalized in fair condition. And you're watching CTV News. I'm Byron Scott. Coming up, we're back in the pool with more tips on swimming safety. Stay with us. Stay tuned. Foreclosures are once again on the rise in Maryland, particularly in Prince George's County. I'll have the reasons behind this increase in foreclosures coming up next week in a two-part series. Be sure to join us. Attention Island friends. This is a parrot service announcement, a manta ray may day, a turtle alert, bottlenose news flash. They're in trouble and you can help. Our mission at the Blue Project Foundation is to protect thousands of endangered animals and their homes. One of the ways is by caring for coral reefs, a vital part of our entire ecosystem. Find out how you can help save these majestic animals. Learn more at blueprojectatlantis.org. Have you grown weary about our current hot weather spell? Well, the Prince George's Health Department has some tips to beat the heat. It recommends that you spend more time in air-conditioned places. If not at home, try the library or mall. Also remember children, seniors, and anyone suffering from heart or lung disease is more vulnerable to heat-related illnesses. And don't forget that children and pets should be left not left unattended in parked cars. So you want your kids to have fun and cool off at the same time by going to the pool? Lifeguards say you always be close by. Experts say the color of your child's swimsuit could save their life. An informal study shows how different colored swimsuits appear underwater. Brighter colors are easier to see, even with water movement, while darker clothes are more difficult to spot. Experts say parents should avoid dressing their child in blue swimsuits and monitor them in the pool, even if there is a lifeguard present. 
Um, it's definitely a lot easier to see your child in the water if they're not matching the water. So um, it makes it more difficult. We don't restrict anybody from any color of swimsuit, but we do ask that, I mean, we do suggest that they wear reds or oranges or colors that are different from the color of the water. And according to the CDC, drowning is the second leading cause of accidental death for children ages 5 to 14 in the U.S. While well, MSDE is making it quicker and easier for families to receive financial assistance, the Child Care Scholarship provides Maryland students under 13 and their families financial assistance for early education and child care services. Families can now apply for the program using a fast-track application, which grants temporary eligibility within three days of applying. Through that process, families receive 60 days of child care while waiting to qualify for a full 52-week child care scholarship. Eligibility requirements for the program can be found on the Department of Education website. While well, soaring to a day full of Maryland's best aircraft and organizations during the Maryland Aviation Festival, it'll include airplane and helicopter displays, flight simulators, and food trucks. It'll be held at the College Park Aviation Museum. The museum's operation manager tells us about the significance of this event. This is actually the very first time that we're kicking off Maryland Aviation Festival. And this is something that we're doing in conjunction, not just with the museum, but also College Park Airport. We're really excited for um, everyone to be coming out to this. This is something, whether it's you've got a family with you, whether you're someone who has an interest in aviation, whether you're a former pilot, there's really something for everyone here. And the festival is free and will be held tomorrow from 12 to 5 p.m. And you're watching CTV News coming up in sports. The Washington Wizards will kick off their summer league season with their first game this weekend. We'll hear how the rookies are preparing after the break. Welcome to the world of Be Kind 365, the new digital kindness platform from Born This Way Foundation. Join our mission of building a kinder and braver world wherever you are, whenever you can, by completing kind acts to yourself, to others, and to your community. Are you searching for ways to be kind but don't know where to begin? That's where the Kindness Generator comes in. It's the perfect tool to help you incorporate kindness into your daily life. With just a click, you'll have a new idea for a kind act you can perform anytime, anywhere. Today, I chose to send a quick, heartfelt text to one of the people I love the most. Getting myself flowers every week. Working out regularly and running as it releases endorphins and makes me feel good. At Born This Way Foundation, we know from our research that kindness and mental health are inextricably linked. You can send kind messages, find mental health resources, and even share your story. Your story matters. Take the pledge to Be Kind 365 today at BeKind365.world. The Maryland Attorney General's Office joins a coalition to intervene in lawsuits that challenge regulations aimed at reducing air pollution. The EPA gave California authority to speed up adoption of zero emission trucks and to reduce emissions from fossil fuel powered heavy duty trucks vehicles. The lawsuits stem from trucking and petroleum industry groups. Maryland is currently finalizing regulations which would incorporate California's emission standards. And the Office of the People's Council asked an appellate court to reverse a 2022 decision on green marketing. The state agency claims that the Public Service Commission unlawfully dismissed a complaint that alleged Washington gas deceptively promoted natural gas as clean energy. People's Council David Lapp says fossil gas is not clean and buying new gas appliances is not a smart economic decision. The OPC appeal concerns a four to one decision from 2022, that commission of which was appointed by then Governor Larry Hogan. Well, a Dorchester County man reels in top honors from the state's Department of Natural Resources. His name is Damian Cook, and on July 5th, he caught a 21-pound northern snakehead fish while angling in the Dorchester River, making him the new record holder in the state's invasive division. Northern snakeheads can wreak havoc on local ecosystems and are common in Chesapeake Bay tidal waters. Natural Resources officials encourage anglers to kill all snakeheads they catch. It is illegal, they say, to transport a live snakehead.
In sports news, the Prince George's native advances to the third round of one of the most prestigious tennis tournaments in the world. Francis Tiafo defeated Switzerland's Dominic Stricker yesterday at Wimbledon in the men's second round. Tiafo's next matchup will be against Bulgaria's Grigor Dimitrov tomorrow. Now, the last time the two met was on the, on the court was 2019, with Tiafo winning that match in four sets. And the NBA ended its season about a month ago, crowning the Denver Nuggets champions for 2023, but a new season is already on the horizon. Summer League for the Washington Wizards begins this weekend. Washington rookies will take on the Indiana Pacers in their first game tomorrow night. After several practices this week, Summer League coach Landon Tatum talked about recent first-round picks Bilal Kalubali and Johnny Ant Davis. As best we can, we're going to try to put Bilal in a lot of different situations. You know, since he's been here, he's been great on the floor, asks questions, does everything with patience. You can see why he was drafted. You know, he's going to give us great length and a lot of versatility on offense to handle the ball, come off of DHOs, things like that. But defensively, we're going to challenge him. He's going to be able to get after some of the best guys, and we're going to see what he can do. With Johnny, I mean, I had the privilege of being with him all year in the go-go a lot. And with him, his confidence grew game by game, and we all saw that, especially at the toward the end of the Wizards season. For now, going into the summer, just want to continue that. Continue that same confidence, attacking the basket, continue with his defense, of course, being the main thing. Like for him, he knows defensively that's how he's going to get on the floor. So we want to make sure he's staying locked in with that, but confidence offensively to show he can do what he can do. You know, it's been amazing. You know, um, I love it here. You know, the organization is great. You know, the people, the staff, they're great people. And you know, they make me want to come every day and work as hard as possible. And, you know, just, you know, have my position in, for the summer league team. And the Wizards and Pacers tip off tomorrow night at 8. Let's get a quick check now on our three-day weather forecast. Heavy rain tonight with a low near 72. Tomorrow, fog and possible thunderstorms with a high around 87. Sunday, heavy rain with a high near 84. And Monday, partly cloudy and more tea storms with a high around 85 degrees. And now for the community calendar, the city of Bowie is offering free steering wheel locks for residents. That's if you own a Kia or Hyundai vehicle. The wheel lock giveaway will be held on Monday, July 17th at the Bowie Police Information Center from 12 to 6 p.m. The address there, 15456 Emerald Way. For more information, you can call 240-544-5700. And that's our news for tonight. I'm Byron Scott. See you next week. Good night.